Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel Maximum Automation. Today in this video, I'm going to talk about how you can run parallel stages in a Jenkins pipeline script. So in Jenkins, we have three different types of stages. We have already seen how to work with stages in a Jenkins pipeline script. So far, everything we have done has been part of sequential stages. Now let's take a look at different types of stages we can use in Jenkins. As I said, there are three stages. The first one is sequential stages. The second one is parallel stages. And the third one is conditional stages. We have already seen sequential stages, which run one after the other. So the first stage runs, then the second one, and so on. That's how sequential stages work. Now, in parallel stages, stages can run simultaneously. For example, stage one and stage two can run independently of each other at the same time. That's what we'll see today, how to run those stages in parallel. So first, let me create a pipeline project and I'll name it Parallel Demo. Now I'll go to the pipeline script and here I'm going to select the sample pipeline called Hello World. You can see this sample just prints Hello World inside a stage named Hello. What I'm going to do now is rename this stage to stage one and inside it i'll print a message like stage one is running this will be our first stage then i'll copy this stage to create another one which i'll call stage two i'll also change the message to say stage two is running Now I'm going to add a delay just to simulate some wait time to show how stages take time individually. I'll add a five second delay in stage one and do the same for stage two. So now both stage one and stage two will take five seconds each. After the delay, I'll print a message to the console saying, Stage 1 completed and Stage 2 completed. So now we have two stages, Stage 1 and Stage 2, and each will take 5 seconds to execute. I'll save the changes and execute the build. Once the build is scheduled, I'll go to the console output. Here you'll see that stage one starts, waits for five seconds and completes. Then stage two starts, waits for five seconds and completes. So the total time taken will be more than 10 seconds. If you look at this stage view, Stage 1 took around 7 seconds and Stage 2 took around 8 seconds. And the total build time was around 20 seconds including overhead. This confirms that these two stages are running sequentially. Now let's change this to run these stages in parallel. I'll go back to the configuration and open the pipeline script again. This time, I'll create a parent stage and name it something like parallel stage. Inside this parent stage, I'll move both stages, that is stage one and stage two. So basically, we are nesting both stages inside a parallel stage. Right now we have set up the nested stages, but they are still not going to run in parallel. To actually make them parallel, we need to wrap them inside a parallel block. 
So what I'll do that, I'll put both stages under the parallel block. Now we have stage one and stage two defined under the parallel block inside the parent stage. I'll save the changes and then and run the build again. As the build runs, you will now see that both stage one and stage two are running simultaneously. Even though in the log it may say stage two pause for zero milliseconds, in the backend, both are actually running at the same time. If you look at the console output, you'll see that stage one starts and goes to sleep for five seconds. And at the same time, stage two also starts and goes to sleep. Once the sleep ends, both complete almost at the same time. That confirms the execution happened in parallel. Now, if you look at the total time, it might still be close to 10 seconds. But that's just because the tasks we added are too small, just 5 second delays. In real world builds, this difference becomes more obvious. Sometimes due to system performance or setup time, you may not see exact improvement, especially for small delays. So to demonstrate a clear benefit of parallel execution, Let's increase the delay. So I'll go back to the configuration and update both sleep times to five minutes. Now think about if you are running this sequentially, stage one takes five minutes, then stage two takes five minutes. That's a total of 10 minutes for the whole build. But with parallel execution, both stages will start at the same time and the total time will be just around five minutes. That's the benefit of parallel execution. So I have updated the delay to five minutes and saved the pipeline script. I'll now run the build again. In the console output, you'll see that stage one started and sleeping for five minutes. And stage two started and is also sleeping for five minutes. After five minutes, both will complete around the same time. Now imagine if these had run sequentially, the total time would have been over 10 minutes. But with parallel execution, we have saved about 50% of our time. This is the major benefit of using parallel stages, especially when you have independent tasks. For example, suppose you have three stages, each taking 20 minutes, and they are running sequentially. That's 60 minutes of build time, but if they are independent, you can run them in parallel and reduce the time to just 20 minutes. So parallel executions helps you to speed up your build, to detect bug faster, and improve the CI-CD efficiency. So I'll skip waiting for this full-time five minutes build to complete, but once it is done, you'll see the success message into the console. So we got the success message and both these stages are done. The total time taken will be around five minutes. Now, if I go to the stage view, then we can see stage one took five minutes and two seconds, where stage two took five minutes and three seconds. So total build time was five minutes and eight seconds. So you can see how we have reduced the build time to 50%. This is how you can run your build stages, which are independent to each other in parallel to improve the efficiency. So that's it for this video. I hope you found it useful. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.